Hi friend, I have two things today in my to-do list. I have to drive car to the service to fix bumper and also I'm planning to put my old monitor to sell. But first I would like to compare a few of my monitors and make video about that. Nothing critical, that's just small bump, I don't know. But it should be fixed and so let's go and do that. Mankos just is designed so that you have to have 220 pixels per inch to have retina, so name and retina resolution, or 110 pixels for non-retina resolution. If you have 110 pixels density, you will you will be fine as well, but that is not retina. And if you will take a look on that screen closely, you may be able to see pixels. Yeah, and all of that sounds very very tricky because. Also, you have to keep in mind monitor size, you have to keep in mind resolution for every monitor and so on and so on. I have three monitors now at home. My 32-inch 4K monitor, I have 24-inch 4K monitor and 27-inch 5K monitor. And I think that if you are a software developer and you are using MacOS, so that is kind of pricey choice, but I will say that it is the best what you can get currently that is 27 inch 5k monitor for your programming and design uh, work. Okay, my 32 inch monitor is here on the floor already, not used anymore, but let's put it back and put them side by side with all the other monitors. Yeah, there is not enough space on the desk, uh, but I have it there. That's how my main monitor looks like. Basically, that's how I am working. That is my Xcode opened. I have my simulator. And let's start with that 24 inch screen. I will zoom in and that will look about the same like I am using it. Let's take this Xcode window and drag it over. Holy moly, what's that? Everything is way too big. It's not really usable at all, right? Can we do something about that? Yes, of course. We can go to the system's preference. Of course, we can go to the display settings and then we can take a look what exactly kind of settings we have for that screen. If we will click to the scaled, we can see what exactly is default for this display. And default for this display is 1080p. Okay, let's click to the more space. Yes, we have our 4K resolution on the screen, but that screen is not useful at all. So 4K resolution is not it. So what we can and should do here, for 24 inch and 27 inch monitors, we will need to switch to the resolution which is next to the large text, 1440 points in the vertical resolution. And if we will switch to that resolution, that will be the same on 27 inch monitor. You will see that in the settings screen that studio display and your whatever external monitor is, it looks kind of the same in the size. So that's how two Xcode kind of projects open and side by side looks like. Basically, they are taking the same space on the screens. If we will move that simulator over, to the Apple Studio display, it takes about the same size, same amount of screen size. Let's take a look on that DPI calculator. Currently we have 2560 to 1440 resolution and that is 24 inch monitor. Basically we are getting 122 pixels density. If that will be 27 inch monitor, then we will be on 108 pixels density. Basically, if I am comparing my resolution currently with Apple Studio display, currently my Apple Studio display is on exactly the same resolution, 2560, 1440, but it is 5K monitor. So basically we have the same picture, but we are using 
two times or four times, four times more. We are using four times pixels to show the same picture. All the fonts, everything is much, much sharper. You can get better picture, but the size and scaling for macOS will be about the same. Apple Studio display has way more pixels to draw every kind of character on the screen. So all the round uh, shapes will be more round, <laughs> let's say so. Let's give it a try. Let's take a look closer towards this lens on 5K versus that 4040 4K scaled monitor. And kind of, yeah, you can you can scale down that 4K monitor, but here is a catch. Uh, if you will click more space, which is 4K, and that is not really usable on 24 or 27 inch monitors, then basically you are getting picture without scaling. But if you are choosing anything in the middle, that means that active scaling happens. And you can see that in settings uh, screen, there is text using a scaled resolution may affect performance and that will affect performance. If your screen is 60 frames per second, that means that 60 times per second, your uh, computer will have to scale that picture from, from original size to whatever scaling you have. Uh, but if you are on the default kind of resolution, more space or larger text, then no scaling, no additional scaling is needed. If your machine is powerful enough and tasks what you are doing are not GPU intense, maybe you will not see difference. But if you are doing some intense video editing, uh, 3D rendering, I don't know, photo editing, whatever. Basically, if you are doing GPU intense tasks, you can see difference. If you are doing programming, mostly kind of writing code and then compi compiling once in a while, and you have powerful enough machine to run that screen, then you will not see big problems. You compare, you take a look how, how it looks for you. But basically in real life situation, you have to, you have to look really closely. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, that Apple Studio display will be the best. <laughs> My co-worker, come on. If you hear someone walking around, that's him. If you have those 2K to draw to that monitor, yeah, you can get that uh, Apple Studio display and you will not be wrong because that will be perfectly sharp and perfectly scaled uh, user interface. If you like to have also kind of correctly scaled user interface, but a little bit more pixelated kind of, you are fine with a little bit more pixelated screen. Get whatever 27 inch monitor with 4040 native resolution, then you will have no load on your processor for scaling, and you will have about the same native scaling like I have on this monitor, but with not so sharp fonts. Are you ready to pay for those fonts? Okay, but what's about that 32-inch 4K monitor? Okay, that is how our 27-inch 5K monitor looks next to the 32-inch 4K monitor. That is basically the same kind of scale for font. It is kind of readable, but yeah, you, then you have to kind of move things around, I don't know, to make it smaller because that Xcode is way too big. You have to make it smaller to make it work, maybe increase font, and then it is kind of usable. And that's what you can use if you like to have kind of more space and you are kind of ready to use macOS in non-native scaling. But here you can see even without zooming so much in that those fonts are not perfect. I used that 32 inch 4K monitor as my main screen since I sold 49 inch monitor and uh, that that was kind of temporary solution while I was waiting for my Apple Studio display delivery, but it took half of the year. So I have plenty of experience with that. So this scaling, I don't like it, but you do you, you can take a look. Maybe you like for how 4K looks in on 32 inch monitor. One thing that I would like to say, if you feel that you would like to run the display in 4K resolution to have more space, then I would suggest 32 inch monitor over 27 inch monitor because on this screen in the 4K resolution, MacOS is already usable. So what is my plan moving forward? Uh, I'm going to sell that 32 inch 4K monitor because yeah, that scaling is not great and it is very kind of dim monitor as well. That it is fine in dark room like I have, but next to the Apple Studio display, it still looks too dark. I will keep running Apple Studio display as my main monitor, open a MacBook next to it for reference. 
any information I need and that 24 inch monitor I'm keeping it only because I'm doing live streams on here on YouTube and on Twitch as well it is really handy to have one more monitor for live streams yeah sure you can use iPad as a one more monitor it works I tried it kind of works but bigger screen is kind of more comfortable so that is what I will keep running <laughs> we'll see how long I will stick with that kind of configuration